sure hope you've limbered up. This sketch is all about muscle contraction. First, we'll go over factors that influence the strength of muscle contractions. Then, we'll get into twitches, summation, and tetanus. Hmm. Which reminds me, when was the last time I got a booster? This place is teeming with rusty metal. Whoa, these guys have gotten themselves in quite the pickle. In case you don't recognize them from other sketches, that thin guy up top is from the Fast Actin Club. He represents the thin filaments in a muscle fiber, which are mostly made of actin. The thicker guy is from the nefarious mycin nightclub, because he represents the thick filament, or myosin. Actin and myosin interact to form cross bridges, which allows thick filaments to draw thin filaments closer together, resulting in muscle fiber contraction. The amount of overlap between actin and myosin directly relates to the number of cross bridges that form. More cross bridges means more tension in the muscle fiber. Sort of like the overlapping of these guys' hands. As you might imagine, it's pretty hard to muscle up a ton of force when you're only hanging on by a finger. Stretched sarcomeres with minimal overlap have a similar issue and generate weaker contractions.